Alrighty. So, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to play scales. So, basically, everyone knows how to do scales, you know. You start on C or whatever. We'll start with the C major scale. And that's relatively boring to just play the scale, and actually it doesn't use too much, like, thought. It's just a pattern, you know, you, you do this, then you just go to the next one, then you go to the next one, and you kind of go through this pattern, so then when somebody says, hey, play me B-flat major scale, you're, you'll probably sit there and be like, oh, this one. And then also when you get into music, when you're reading a piece of paper and it says, you know, two flats on it, you'll sit there and you'll be like, uh, okay, so, uh, okay, I know the scale, but then you'll sit there and you'll be like, uh, okay, or sorry, you know, you'd start doing things like that. Well, there's a thing that I do sometimes that helps me get more proficiency with my scales than just playing the scale up and down. And what that is, is it's improvising. I really like to improvise and, uh, well, this is kind of what I do. I'll just show, show what I do. So I start by playing the scale and then I improvise off of the scale. I can only play the notes that are in the scale. If I play a note that's out of the scale, well then those are considered wrong notes at this at this stage. Um, later on, that changes, but um, for this exercise, that's the rule. You can only play notes in the scale. So let's start with the C major scale. bunch of notes that I can play I have seven options and I'm trying to think of things that sound cool think of things that maybe sound musical while also staying within and th at this point C major um, and this really helps me helped me a lot with my scales and with reading specifically scales because now when I look at something and it's like oh it's in the key of two flats then what I can do is I understand that this and this are my two um, flatted notes, my two accidentals. So when I'm reading a piece of music, I just kind of go into the B-flat mode where I'm just like, oh, well, let's see here. You know, whatever the thing is on the paper. And the reason for that is I are, my hands know where everything is. And while my brain's trying to make a connection with the piece of paper, my hands already know where the locations are. Also, it's really fun to do. That's the main goal. When I learned scales, I didn't learn, I was very much against learning scales until I had to. And I wish I'd learned this a little bit earlier than I did, but this really helped me actually know my scales because doing this pattern is so boring you know just doing this pattern over and over it just made it so that my life was like Okay, here's two minutes of me checking out. And then if I play a scale wrong, let's say, uh, let's say I'm here. Uh, let's see. I just didn't even care. I was just like, oops, whatever. Um, I might do something where it's like... Or, you know, something where I'm like tripping over it, 
but I get through it and then I'm like, ah, good enough, and then I go to the next one. Whereas with this kind of practice, it's a game. It's so fun. I just sit down, I'm just like, all right, well, let's just do this scale. scale is and whenever I make a wrong note I'm like oops so then I have to try and not make any wrong notes now the next step to this uh, that I do sometimes is I'll be in one key and then I switch between two keys so let's use a uh, let's use C major and let's use B flat because um, why not so I'll do like a couple measures in one key and then switch to the other key and then switch back and what this does is it not only teaches me what the C major scale is and what the B flat major scale is, but it also also teaches me how to switch between the two, how to uh, be ready for like say when my music says there's a key change that comes up, I'm ready for it. So it'll sound something like this. So I'll do two bars of each thing. So one, two, ready, and. different and it really keeps you on your toes the other thing that it, this teaches you or at least it teaches me is what notes are the same in the C major scale and the B flat major scale well it's these guys and so then if I don't quite remember which scale I'm on or I'm slow to I'm late to the party hitting these guys um, if I fall back onto these th these guys, then I'm good in both keys. Another thing that it does is it helps make the transition a little bit smoother. Because there's like some parts where I'll, like I'll be hitting this note and then I hit this note and it feels kind of weird. Um, here, let me give an example. So uh, two bars, one, two. a little weird but if I tried to tried to not hit this half step thing then maybe it'll sound a little bit better let's see if I can make it sound a little better one two ready and That sounded like I didn't even move through scales, but I did. So using those is super useful. Um, and improvising off of these scales is also super useful. It's no longer learning patterns. Patterns are great, but it's also having fun, being creative, and learning more depth to each scale. So yeah, I hope this video helps. See you around.